Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Genesis and I am here to show you right now that basilisks are finally tameable. The devs actually changed it so they can eat the magmasaur eggs. You can see I did tame this guy a couple of seconds ago, so yeah, that's that. I'm going to go ahead and take his saddle off him. I'm going to go ahead and make him go berry so he doesn't bother the next one we go after. I have seen people do this with a Rex. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you first off in kind of GCM mode, so how you can see that things are actually tameable, and then I'll show you some methods that I think would work. So basically what you're going to do is uh, you have to make it so you're not in their aggro range, and you want to toss down a couple of eggs for them because that's kind of how these things work. If you don't toss down eggs, they don't want to eat. See how I'm no longer in his red range, so he's not like aggroed to me anymore? That's what we're aiming for, because as soon as you enter his like little red aggressive to you territory, oh no, he's going to burn himself. Where is he going? My goodness. So you want to pull him out of that, obviously. So using my little spyglass here, I'm pulling him away from all that lava, and uh, we just want to pull him so he's near the eggs, and then you want to find a way to quickly escape, because when he is no longer red, he eats the egg, just like that. Now obviously I'm in GCM mode, so I can just fly up. However, I have also brought you guys, um, just so you can see it, how I would do this with a crossbow, we'll try a Rex, we'll try some different strategies. If you're like, yo, I've got the, I've got the picture, I get it, so on and so forth, just so you can see, there's the tame, berry, and um, I'll kind of, you know, I'm going to go ahead and add some grappling hooks to this, so that way I can actually do this a little easier. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tame another one. Now, they're really easy to tame, just like the ones over on um, Aberration, but you just have to be careful with how you do it. So I'm going to stay in GCM mode so I don't die. But I am, however, I whistle passive on those guys, I just realized that. I am going to kind of like stay up really high in the air. I'm going to use a tree, and uh, we'll see if this works. There we go. Oh, what a shot on his part. Okay, so... Let's see if I can... So he doesn't want to aggro... Oh, there he goes. So I gotta somehow avoid this. He drilled me with it, so I don't know how you would do that in... Okay. Okay, so it seems like he doesn't want to eat. Don't know why. Alright, we're kind of gonna like run around here. And... If I can to eat that one. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, is he doing it? Why does he keep burying himself? Maybe this one's broken? Why is it a level one? It's a level one for some reason. I do not know why. Okay, let's see if I can pull him out of the ground again. Uh, there we go. So. I 100% am no longer in his range. Yeah, this one seems to be broken. Okay. Well, that's a note to self. Let's go ahead and find us another one real quick. And I don't know why a level 1 is even here. Maybe it's like when I change the server around a little bit. Oh well. Let's go ahead and uh, test it out on a different one. Because I think crossbow is probably the best method. Um, but I'm not entirely sure on that. So let's, you know, there's no better way to check it out than just to go figure it out, right? All right, now we just gotta find one. Oh, there's some. Oh man, there's a couple. Oh man, there's three. Okay, let's see if I can aggro one to me. Got that one. Okay. So now we're gonna like play like I uh, hello. Like I'm actually okay. Really? Stop. That's embarrassing. All right, so I've got to try and find a way to aggro these guys. I think the best way is still going to be to aim up this cliff and toss down a couple of eggs. So let's see how that works. And I'm going to get out this guy so I can roast the Magmasaur. So it looks like they finally realize that I'm here. Are they going to eat the egg now? Yes, they are. Wow, okay, so that's definitely an easy way to do this. Holy smokes. Okay, so you definitely can do it this way. So, 
I think that this is probably the best way, because with a Rex, you're going to be constantly in the aggro range. Whereas with a non-Rex, like doing this crossbow method, you can quite literally just like go up a cliff. Let's try it one more time just to make sure that this works, and then I'll try it with a Rex. Um, let's see here. Got to find one, got to find one. They tend to spawn in little packs, which is actually not necessarily a bad thing. Because as soon as you tame one, you might be able to get the duo like I did right there. And that could be quite useful. Okay, now the best way to find these guys, they tend to spawn in like the flats, if that makes sense. Um, so flats is a good way to locate them. I'm not seeing any over here right now, though. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to find, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I guess they might not necessarily spawn in the flats. It's more of the lines that they... Uh, have a tendency to end up down there because they can't climb very well. Okay. So, keeping our eyes out. I thought I saw one there. I did not. Sometimes those look like them, the Arthropleras. But we'll get one. We will find one. It's just a question of when. When, 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 when. Okay. Come on now. I feel like there's got to be one around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just looking for like the little the pit in the ground or the giant exposed thing. There's nothing else that looks like him, which is quite beneficial. Alright, I'm not seeing any. I might have to bring you guys. Oh, there we go. There's two of them. So just like I expected, there's, there's a cluster of them together. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and execute everything nearby so that way there's no risk of anything you know aggroing this guy away uh so we have the two spotted there's I, I have a transmitter right there okay i'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time with this method so you guys can see how i'm doing this with the uh, crossbow and basically what you're gonna do is you are going to pull yourself oh actually let's see if i can get up there nope not okay so they definitely see me okay let's see can i do this Okay, so there's that. And naturally they go to the nearest Kentro they can find. Okay. So I have the eggs pulled down. I have to aggro them away off of me. Come on. Are you really aggroed to me still? Oh, that one's going to try and eat the egg because he's gone that whitish color. Please? Really? You're going to go after that now? Yep. So, they have an attention span of something that is not good. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull them back. So that seems to be the strategy. You've got to go... Oh, hello, Perlovia. You were in the lava. That seems a bit ridiculous, so I guess that's something I didn't know about you got to be careful of. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this. we got our eggs right there. Okay. So the basilisks seem to be aggroed to me, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Got the perlovia. I'm going to go ahead and toss a couple more eggs down there and see if this works. Okay. So there's some eggs for them. Are they going to go for it? It looks like they're trying. Come on. Okay. So sometimes we can get them. Um, sometimes we seem to be unable to do that. This is ridiculous. So these aren't perfect yet. I think that's something that needs to be made for sure mentioned. Okay. Aha! I got one. So, it looks like uh, they are tameable. Some of the strategies that I would use, and this is me personally, so take this for what you will, is uh, I would probably go above them like I have been with the crossbow, because the crossbow seems to be a good strategy, and make sure everything nearby is gone. Because if everything nearby is not dead, these things look like they've got the mental capacity <laughs> of like a newborn. So it's not good. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and try doing this with a, um, a Rex real quick. I'm going to clear the area out around them just so you can see me do all this stuff. I'm just, I have a feeling that if I don't do it, it's not going to end well for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and empty all of these things out. Get this guy gone. Okay, pull this guy. I literally am going to pull everything away from you guys so you have zero want to do anything else but chase me. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some eggs down on the ground and let's see if uh, if I was to go... Oh wow, okay. So all you have to do is leave the area and it looks like it's an insta-tame basically. My goodness. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a Rex too. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. I think you guys get the point. Because as long as you are uh, just avoiding these things' breath, you can survive them. I and mean, that's a level 202, and it tamed one tap. There's no boosts on my uh, solo server right now. So that's quite interesting. Alright, anyways, now that you can kind of see that these guys are on the server and they are tameable, use some Magma Sword Eggs and get yourself some Basilisks. Alright, teach. Ow.